What's up guys, my name is Ace, and welcome back to Maps Exposed. This is the series where I cover all the lines of sight, as well as any other secret spots that I know of on every map in COD World War II. In today's episode, we're going to be covering St. Marie du Mont. And with this one, I've got some spots that are going to blow your mind and completely change the way you think about this map. So first up, let's start it off real strong here. This is absolutely ridiculous that this is possible, but it does work and it does work very effectively for countering campers that are in any one of the windows in this building. If you've got a guy camping in this window, it works. If you've got a guy camping there or there, this works very, very well. Let's assume there's somebody camping right here. You know you know he's there, he's on the mini map. A lot of times you can actually come down here, you can see their shadow kind of moving through the wall and, or through the floor, sorry, or the ceiling, I guess, from this perspective. And sometimes you can actually see their name tag appear through there as well. It's a little bit glitchy, a little bit weird, but if you know somebody's there or suspect somebody's there, this works great with FMJ as well. Just spray through and you might get the kill on them. This is insane that this works so effectively right here. It'll be like right about that position. You spray through there, you get the kill. Right about here, you just spray through right there and you get the kill on the people that are up there. You don't even need FMJ with most rifles as well as LMGs, and you'll be picking off free kills all the time from these positions. It's incredible that this actually works. Maybe they'll end up patching this so it doesn't work in the future, but as it is right now, it's an easy way to take out some campers. Moving on to the next spot, this one's a little bit more obvious, but it's a wall bank spot that I wanted to show you guys because I don't see enough people using it, especially for an opening route. A lot of times you have people coming right here, they'll be like throwing their nades through there, they'll be pre-aiming right here. The easiest way to take them out if you have a rifle or an LMG, especially with F FMJ, is just strafe across here and just light them up through this wall. It usually makes for an easy first blood for you. Now over by the sea domination flag, if you expect enemies are going to be coming around that corner there from that area, you don't really have any way to challenge them with much cover. I mean, they don't have cover either, but that's pretty much a 50-50 gunfight when they come around that corner. A way to stack the odds in your favor is to jump up on top of this car. You have to kind of jump onto the fender and then jump up like this. And then uh, from here, you can just jump up onto the roof of here. But right in this position, you can look over top of these boxes. You get a nice line of sight of them coming around that corner and they'll have no idea what hit them. Another thing from right over on this side of the map is if you have enemies up in that window and you manage to make it to this vehicle right here, you could have a look over top like this. But just another alternative here that they don't usually expect is to shoot right through the windows of this truck. Getting back into this side of the sea flag, let's just say you're coming out of the sea spawns and you expect enemies are over there, maybe they've got you kind of spawn trapped. One way that you can challenge them that they might not expect is jump up on these barrels, and there you go. You can kind of strafe your way around, you get a nice line of sight over towards that area, and they don't normally expect that. They expect, that, they expect you to be coming down around the corner like this. Now pushing over towards the B flag here in Domination, right there is a very common spot for people to sit once they gain that map control around the B flag, and they'll just pin you back in your spawn. An interesting way you can challenge them, this only works with sniper rifles, and it's not the easiest shot in the world to hit. But if you can jump on top of this barrel right here, you can't quite see them until you jump. You might be able to hit a cheeky little jump shot against these guys if you just jump up and try and pick them off. Now moving up towards the B domination flag, first thing I want to point out here is there's often going to be a guy on the barrel here, and you're going to be challenging him, and this is a pretty much fair gunfight. You've both got decent cover, and it's basically 50-50. One thing I wanted to point out though is if he's there and you shoot at him and he takes cover and goes behind those boxes right there, or that crate, you can easily shoot through that. You lose very little bullet damage through there and you'll often be able to finish off that kill. So if you start shooting somebody there and he takes cover, just keep spraying through and you'll get that kill. Now with the B domination flag, I wanted to point out that you can capture from here. Most people know this, but I wouldn't necessarily recommend this because I'm gonna show a great counter to this. The people that are up in that window right there if you are camping up here and you're trying to lock down map control and the B flag, this is a very, very effective way to lock down the B flag. If they try to capture from that spot, you can just spray right through those crates right there. And again, you lose very little bullet damage. You'll get that kill no problem. So the alternative, if you are trying to cap the B flag and you expect somebody's going to be up there, is lay behind these barrels. From behind these barrels, they can't spray through these barrels at all. They can only spray through the wood. And therefore, you can often avoid their shots through the wood and manage to complete that capture. Another thing right in this area, if you do want to counter those people that are up in the window and you really want to take them off guard, a great way to do this is to jump on these barrels right here. If you're crouched, you're completely hidden from them. Stand up, there you go. Excellent line of sight on them. They won't be seeing you there too easily. And just keep in mind though, if they do see you, they can spray right through this wood. So it's more visual cover than anything. Getting onto this side of the map, this vehicle right here is a really common power position, so you'll be uh, easily challenging people across the street over there, because they don't have quite the same amount of cover if they're trying to use that vehicle for cover. One thing to point out is there's a pretty big gap under here. I'm not necessarily recommending shooting under here, because you'll only see legs, 
But if you want to make sure that you're as protected as possible when you're using this car for cover, blow the car up. This will also prevent you from getting blown up by the car if somebody throws a nade at the car. That way, your feet are now completely protected by that, and there you go. You still have that great piece of cover to use. Now, something I wanted to point out in the middle of the map here, if you're locking down that area over there, and you don't want to be standing on the barrels, which is exactly where they expect, you can jump up right here, and you can use these sandbags for cover. They often don't expect you to be using the spot like this, so if they come around the corner, you can easily pick them off. Same thing works on the reverse here. If you want to jump up, maybe you want to challenge people at the car there. If you jump up all the way to the edge of this and stay crouched, you'll be hidden from them. You can strafe out, and there you go. Great little line of sight, you can even stand up like that, and that's just a place that they don't normally expect. Now another wall bank spot that I wanted to point out, when you're upstairs here, maybe you're trying to lock down this map control in the middle building right here, a lot of times you expect when people are coming up those stairs. You know they're coming, you can see them on the minimap, or you can hear them coming, and usually they'll come around here, and they have pretty decent cover, even though you have the height advantage, you can kind of like use these stairs for cover as they come around. If you're in this position here and you see them, you can easily strafe across and spray through here to finish them off or to get the kill. This also works if you damage them and they go to take cover from you. you just spray through that wall and you'll finish them off. Now getting all the way over by the A domination flag, sometimes you'll be coming out of spawn in A, you'll come into this building and you got a guy camping on the stairs here and he just kind of sprays you down as you come through that area. If you suspect somebody's there or you know somebody's there or maybe you like peek, you see them there, just spray through this door and through this wall here. You don't lose too much bullet damage there, and you'll often be able to take them out and they'll have no idea what hit them. Another thing over by the A flag here is let's just say you're pushing over towards the A flag and you expect enemies are coming around that corner over there. You know some people are over there. You don't have the greatest cover. You have a little bit of cover if you try to crouch behind these sandbags or head glitch over top like that. But aside from that, not the greatest cover. What I like to do is hop up on these crates right here and there you go. As you can see, Excellent line of sight on the people that are over there. Crouch, you're completely hidden, stand up, and there you go. Another thing you can do from on top of these crates, I just want to point out, you hop up right here, and you can look over top of this wall to the people that come around that corner. Now finally, getting over to this area of the map right here, people will often use this for cover and challenge you as a come across the corner, and they'll just kind of strafe in and out of cover like this, or maybe you'll end up just on the opposite side of this. Maybe they will make it all the way up to this area, and you're just on the other side. What you can do is actually spray through the sheet metal and you don't lose a whole lot of bullet damage here. You might take an extra shot or two to get a kill, but that's it. So what I recommend happening is if somebody starts shooting at you or if you take cover here, just keep spraying through and you'll often finish off the kill if you've already hurt them. Or if they happen to be on the other side and you know it, just spray through and you might end up finishing off that kill. So there we have it. That's gonna wrap it up for all the spots I know of on this map. I wanna give a big thank you and shout out to Enya. She actually helped me find a bunch of these spots. A ton of these spots I probably wouldn't have found without her. And she helped me record those as well, like she always does in pretty much every one of these episodes. I am gonna leave a link to her Twitch down below cause she does stream as well. As always with this series, let me know in the comment section below which one of the maps you'd like me to cover next. If you enjoyed the video, a like rating is always appreciated. And don't forget to subscribe for more if you haven't already. I'll talk to you guys next time.